coming in on its final approach now. The landing gear on the 747R down. Again, this is the final leg of a three-hop flight starting in California, going to Altus Air Force Base in Oklahoma, spending two nights at Barksdale Air Force Base in Louisiana before coming in this morning here at Kennedy Space Center. This is a welcome sight for employees at KSC to see the vehicle back in town, moments away from touchdown. Discovery is returning back to KSC. Main gear down. And nose gear touchdown. Discovery is back at Kennedy Space Center. Landing on the runway going north to south. 747 will continue to taxi toward the end of the runway. Once there, it will stop. Passing the midfield point right now. Once at the end of the runway, it will stop and a tow truck will be brought out to it to actually tow it into the mate demate device where over the next several hours, Discovery will be lifted off the back of the 747. The 747 will be removed, backed out, and Discovery will be lowered down on its landing gear. And then this time tomorrow, it will be towed back to the orbital processing facility in completion of mission STS-114. Once in the orbital processing facility, the payload bay doors will be opened and de-stow operations of the materials brought back from the International Space Station will begin. Discovery is now slated to fly on the next space shuttle mission, currently targeted for no earlier than March of 2006, mission STS-121, back to the International Space Station. Now that Discovery is back at Kennedy Space Center, this will in the commentary for this mission and for this return ferry flight. From the Kennedy Space Center, this is Shuttle Control.